everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you are having a terrific week. Um, I know it's, I can't believe summer is almost over. Like it seems to me that Labor Day weekend is like the finality. And I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and she's like, oh my gosh, the leaves are already starting to change around their house in Alaska. So fall is upon us at least twice here in Alaska. And um, I'm sure in many other parts um, well, I know it's it's not too far behind. So when you join us, say hello, give us a thumbs up or a heart. Um, if you've done Facebook Lives before, you know, it's it's fun to know who's in your audience. So when you give us a thumbs up or you make a comment, then I get to know who's hanging out with us this morning um, or for many of you in the afternoon. If you don't know yet, you must be under a rock. We are doing the Women's Mind, Body, Spirit Boot Camp. And hey, there's Kristen. Hey. The Women's Mind, Body, Spirit Boot Camp in Gulf Shores, Alabama, October 9th and 10th. The cool thing about it is Alabama is a green state. So therefore, um, green means go, right? So we get to live like we've always lived. Um, you don't have to impede your breathing. You don't have to be terrified of the person next to you. We get to play full out. And, you know, I was just at Mile High and got to see um, old friends, um, boot campers. And I'm telling you what, it was a huge boost. And so for those of you who, I mean, even if you're not feeling isolated, even if you're not feeling down or uh, like just something is off, I encourage you come to the Women's Mind, Body, Spirit Boot Camp and Retreat October 9th and 10th. Um, we have great speakers like Dr. Maddie is going to be sharing with you today. She's um, going to be talking about the care of elite athletes, elite female athletes. Um, we're also, um, Dr. Christina is speaking on how do you care for women in your practice with cancer? She's a cancer survival and is going to share her story with us and how we can best support them. Um, there's Jen. Um, and, and the second part of that is soul purpose that Demi McConkie and I are going to be leading. Demi leads the soul purpose portion at the Wealth Factory. Um, and we'll be taking you through, how do you identify your survival constraints? So our survival constraints are the things that hold us back. Our survival constraints are why, why we're not getting what we say we want in our lives, whether it's um, our performance, it's the amount of money, it's the relationships, it's the opportunities. The thing that holds you back is your survival constraints. And so we'll be breaking that down with all of you so you can identify them, get them adjusted and and live the life of like really, truly not just as a slogan of your dream. So let's just start right now. Dr. Maddie, what gives you the street cred to be able to care for and speak about elite athletes? Uh, well, I have been an athlete my entire life. Um, it's, you know, I've played pretty much every sport under the sun. Um, I was an NCAA hurdler in the 400 and 100 hurdlers in college. Um, a lot of people can't necessarily be able to be an, an athlete as well as um, finish their studies. So that was um, a big thing of knowing how those high-end athletes are cared for behind the scenes because I was one of them, um, as well as I was actually a state champion athlete in high school as well. Um, so I've, I've had a lot of experience at multiple levels. So for me, this was something that was kind of a little bit more natural. Um, once I got into practice, I was fortunate enough to get hooked up with um, some people that were taking care of some of the pro volleyball athletes that were traveling the nation. So I've worked with um, the National Volleyball League, the NVL. Um, as you can see on my shirt, I've got the AVP, which I've worked there.
jam. You have a huge responsibility to to be consistent and up to date with how do you best support these athletes? Like we know they're probably not going to throttle back. So because of that, how do we best support them so that they don't end up in a situation where they're sidelined at, at know, championships, 18, you know? <laughs> yeah. During champion. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I was thinking of the, the pressure, you know, obviously college tuition is really expensive. And a lot of these kids want to keep playing because it's all they've known. I don't know that they necessarily want the education, but, you know, going to college is the thing. And so in order to get it paid for, I have to be the best in my sport, right? Like that's, that's my ticket. And so um, I, I think addressing the emotional component of it as well is, is so important um, with, with COVID too. Cause like a lot of these kids, like that's been their whole identity right? Is their team and going to practice and like, that's how they've invested their time. And now it's gone. Can we talk about that for a second? How are you addressing that in your practice since you are known as the, the athletes chiropractor in your area? Um, for me, it's, it's been truly just checking in and saying, Hey, are you doing anything? Are you going for a run? You know, are you doing push-ups? Are you doing sit-ups? Are you doing body weight resistance stuff? Um, when you're so used to having that adrenaline rush and you no longer have it, it's hard to get back into it. Um, and especially here in Wisconsin, there are a few sports that have been greenlit to start like cross country. Um, tennis has been able to happen for a bit here, swimming, things like that. So um, I've also kids that might not be able to play their particular sport because it might be contact um, in a sense like football okay, let's, let's shift. Let's do some other things. Um, and really pushing them to get some sort of activity because we all know the, the serotonin and the dopamine rush that happens with, with sports. And so that depression, I mean, we see it in professional athletes all the time that once they retire, that depression that, that comes in because they don't have that routine and that, at that regular, um, activity level. So it's been a lot of checking in and a lot of giving ideas. Um, for a while, I was doing Zoom workouts with my team of, okay, here's some body weight. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And it's it's whatever you can do, um, you know, just to keep keep the um, keep keep the energy up in a sense. Of saying it's okay, it's okay that you can't necessarily do the drills that you wanted to do. Like, let's focus on something else. Let's let's work on body mechanics. We have the time to do that now. So that's I love that. it's it's that pivot. You know, you just you just got to pivot, and I I think that's some of the best coaches are able to pivot um, when things don't necessarily go the way they were anticipating. So. Hundred percent. Hey, Maddie. Thank you so much for joining me today. You who have. Oop! I lost you there. At the end. Thank you, Dr. Maddie. Is getting married next weekend, and so she has taken the time to still be with all of us today. So you can tell her a congratulations on her upcoming nuptials that have had to be a pivot as well, because obviously the amazing wedding that she had planned can't happen um, as planned. So she is doing some pivoting. Um, please, all of you check out the link below for the women's mind, body, spirit. We are having it at a state park. There's over 6,000 acres that you can explore 28 miles of trails. We're a mile from the beach. The environment is this big, huge room. We're the only ones there. It's all glass. So it's going to be like we're outside the whole time. Um, there are people, a group of us who are coming early and staying late. So if you just want to lean in and recharge and relax and connect and bond and, and make great friendships, then the Moments Mind, Body, Spirit Boot Camp and Retreat is the place for you. So Maddie, thank you so much. Congratulations thank you. to you Thanks. on an awesome year and on your wedding next weekend. Thanks. You are so welcome. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.